And then we tell them to pick as many chickpeas as possible out of the patient, the bacteria, out of the patient within a given time. Each dose is 10 seconds. So we ask them to repeat this process seven times to specify seven doses of antibiotic. And then obviously then we tell them, so what happened after the third dose? There are still a lot of bacteria remaining. And then what we do is we give them some hard lentils, which we call the hard lentils, which cannot be picked up with the uh, toothpick are the viruses. So then we give them some viruses and we tell them this is a new patient with a new infection, so you give him an antibiotic, see what happens. The children can't pick the viruses with the toothpick, so why is that? That is because the chickpeas which have the soft outer covering, the antibiotic is able to go in and do its job, pick it out, whereas the viruses have a hard shell and so the antibiotic cannot get in. And this is what happens inside your body also. And then the last activity is where we wrap these boiled chickpeas in cello tape. Um, and these are the super bugs. So we tell them, okay, so now this person has come in with this bacterial infection. See what, so there are some normal bacteria and then there are some super bugs. Mm -hmm. The antibiotic is able to act on the regular boiled chickpeas, but not on the ones that are wrapped in cello tape. So why is that? Because the bacteria have mutated they change something, they change the target, so the antibiotic is not able to target it anymore. And that is what happens inside your body also when you have superbugs.
everywhere, super bugs are everywhere. But don't be afraid from your weaker man. Superhero to make their power zero. Tan tan.